Yo guys, we got some natural lighting today. No lights, just the sun. Feels ex it just feels spectacular. And this level of lighting is absolutely perfect. My blinds are literally shut in the sun, so powerful as it is, shining through the blinds. Anyways, today, I don't want to play ranked. So instead, we're whipping out the Isaiah in experimental, because I want to beat up some noobs. Alright, I just... Good run, Blackguard Temple. Blackguard Keep. I just went through my old vids. Oh, this is gonna be fun. With making sure I didn't upload an Isaiah vid. See, I feel like I can't talk as much when I'm playing some rank, you know? Like, I actually have to be fighting some 3 a.m. like demons to talk a lot. Or I have to be in flow state. So, yep. We're gonna be playing some experimental instead. Like, this guy's just getting absolutely rolled. I feel like canon in 2019 is peak brawler now i don't know how many of you guys watching played back then or even played canon back then canon has always been one of the lesser played weapons but i feel like in 2019 before they reworked side light canon was one of the weapons with the most skill expression the side light used to have like three different hitboxes like three different zones i would say <clears throat> And depending on which zone you hit, like up top, like top, mid, or bottom of the side light, you would have different options out of it. So like the top version, you could like, it would hit them really low and you could true combo into D light. And there was a lot of ex skill expression there. The middle version is like kind of like current cannon where you would like send them into like an angle where you could stare or dare. And then bottom cannon side light would like it would move them way too far to like ever hit, pretty much. Uh, to ever hit a follow up. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this guy's literally just like dodging in absolutely perma. Just kidding, he stopped dodging in. I still think Cannon has a lot of skill expression, but that version of Cannon is like the best design of any weapon ever, in my opinion. And I'm like still depressed that they were that they reworked it. And it's like literally for the dumbest reason. Well, it's not dumb, but it's like the saddest reason. Because they could have kept the, that mechanic the same. Except they just like changed it for no reason. Because the reason they reworked cannon is because they wanted it to be like more like a cannon and less like a battering ram. But sidelight is literally a battering ram no matter what you do. You can re rematch an experimental by the way. It's kind of sick. Guys, This guy wants none of it though. Cancel it. So like my point is they could have literally kept it the same and they reworked it for no reason. And it actually is so sad. Because this move is like unchanged thematically. Like it literally could be the same. Something like dude. I just think about it sometimes. Because there was so much more like innovation to be had with with cannon. Because you could do like these really long combos. Where you could do like delight. And then if they didn't have a dodge. You could chase dodge through. And you could reverse side light. And since like D light would hit them up, you would get the top version of the side light, and you could then do D light true out of side light. Now it sounds OP, and like it probably was, sure. But like then you have, like if you want to call that OP, which yeah, it's kind of good. But then you also have a you literally have weapons that have five times the moves of other weapons. So like if that's OP, then what is scythe and greatsword? Anyways, whatever. It makes me so sad. I've, I've never had as much fun as I did playing, like, those those three months or, like, two months at the end of 2019. Like, Rotterdam, BCX. That's literally, like, peak of life. Straight up. Anyways. Maybe if I win BCX, my, my new peak of life will be that. There that. Weapon throw. Ground bond. Whatever. I tried. Isaiah is just like I just actually legendary like there's just nothing else to say about him. He's just the goat I think out of all the legends I've played Petra Isaiah and Diana are definitely the best Honestly cross is like creeping up on Diana's spot. I I can I can't even really tell you why I even like Diana Well, I can it's cuz her sigs used to be like so fun to hit and now people realize like the sigs are so obvious and then they like my favorite sig was always n sig oh i dodged right into that my voice is like 
nasally, man. It's so weird. I, like, feel weird talking. My favorite Diana Sig was the gun and Sig. And then they, like, nerfed it to the ground. Yo. Dude, he was about to wall slip. I should have let him. He sig that. Dare that. Side sig that. And sig that. I. And sig this one. Okay, do that recovery, sure. But yeah, they nerfed gun and sig into the ground. Like, let me show you guys. I'm about to whip out the Diana. Okay. Like, for any of my Mordex mains out there, you guys know about the tech where you do, like, scythe and light. And then you chase dodge forward and you you end sig right now diana you can do like the same thing with calm down with like gun side light what okay you can do like the same thing with gun side light or gun end light into into end sig as well and it used to be like so strong where you would like gun end light or gun side light chase dodge forward end sig and then they'd literally die at like orange if you started with like the side light and orange, right? And now gun and sig is like the weakest move in the entire game for how like small it is. It's literally the tiniest cloud and nobody is dying to it. Like you're better off just literally standing there. Like I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it soon. I'm going to grab on him. I'm gonna dare him. Okay, I'm gonna end here. It's like a noodle, dude. End sig that. Then not only is it slow, end sig. Side light, end sig. Okay, I could have done it there. Whatever, I'm over it. I haven't even demonstrated my point. Like you guys can envision what I'm talking about, right? You guys are smart cookies. Like this sig sucks. Look at it. Oh my god, I missed that. Whatever. He dodged into my end light and got his dodge back. Alright, we don't have to talk about that. Like, do you see this guy? He's just, like, avoiding it. He's not even trying to avoid it, and he's avoiding it. It's just that bad. And then this thing, we don't, like, this thing is literally unusable. Like, oh my god, this character just fell off. Okay, rematch him. Okay, we're back on Isaiah. Wait. Can I change the title in here? Oh, I can. That's cool. What is that pink one? Oh, it's Valhalla. I was like, what? All right, we're back on Isaiah. But yeah, it's it's really polarizing because like I like guns a lot, like blasters. But Diana's bow is still one of, if not just like the best individual kit in the entire game. D light into Ensig is like. Delay into NSIG on Diana is one of, if not the most oppressive, like, SIG strings in the entire game. Like, light attack into SIG strings. It's so disgusting. Like, if, if you were to solo main one character's weapon, like, Diana bow would definitely be up there for, like, all-time bests. It's that good. But sadly, you need to be a passive player to play bow. And I, you guys know me. Aggressive God X. Alright, D-Light near this. Double Nair. Nobody even plays Ganon. Like, the, you have the Ninja in, in EU, but in NA, there's not a soul who plays Ganon. The only people who play Ganon are, like, onto bigger and better things now. You just gotta wonder if they never reworked it. Where would Ganon be? Would Ganon be undisputed number one? Like, I feel like that's a good timeline. Definitely exciting to watch. And, like, here's the other thing about it. They kept all the annoying parts of Cannon, which is, like, this zero-to-deathy monster. And they just removed the skill expression about it. Like, they could have nerfed the zero-to-deathy stuff and kept the skill expression with, like, knowing when when combos work and when you can't do certain combos. But now, like, Sidelight just always drew combos into Sare or Dare. If they have no dodge, no jumps. So it's like, okay, sure. Just bad vibes. Dude, how do we get this map twice? There's like 20 maps in the in the experimental pool, actually. Yo, can we talk about how, for some reason, there was like a patch in experimental where they were testing the new ranked maps 
and it was only the ranked maps and then for some reason they just like turned them off i feel like they should okay now this is like maybe this is getting too deep but i feel like people who play who want to play on like those uncompetitive maps like fang wild and stuff they literally would not even notice if they weren't playing on it like if you just force everyone to play on the tournament maps or added a toggle to experimental people who play on fang wild for fun would not even notice that they weren't even playing on fang wild like it's literally only noobs that want to play on not not experimental maps and they wouldn't even notice he's gonna side sig watch eventually it's coming jk I was too far in his head. Do you see that? Dude, Isaiah's sigs are just like sick to use. Everyone, actually. Except for gun side sig. Because gun side sig is... Okay, I know I was just talking about how Diana gun end sig is the worst move in the game. Isaiah gun side sig is literally the worst move in the entire game. The only reason you're using Isaiah gun side sig is if you're literally trolling or proving a point. By hitting it. Like, I've hit Isaiah gun side sig at the end of games in tourney. Just to, just to prove a point. Like, I, yeah, I'm that much better than you. I'm using this SIG. Which is literally worse than just doing a, a delay into recovery. Because it's that bad. And it does like 10 damage too. It's just it's just horrible. Alright. Okay, I tried to GC side SIG there. I don't even know how that came out. Wait, maybe you can do this. Wait, did I just discover tech? I, like, just crossed my mind. Is that true? I need to check if that's true. Like, big time. Maybe that's OP, but I doubt it. Dude, imagine if you could do that, though. Delight into NSIG. It's like zero commitment. No dodge, free, and lay NSIG. Dude, Isaiah is actually good. Imagine if, instead of six decks, Isaiah had, like, six attack. Okay, well, I need to check if that's true. Let's check it. Do a little live lab. All right, let's see it. Blasters, stun time on. Nope, two dodge windows, but maybe I did it slow. Nah. Okay, now that I'm like looking at this, low key, I feel like they should just make this true. Like, no? Like, Isaiah, this SIG is completely useless. Just make it faster by two frames. Make this a true combo at low HP. Cause like, okay. Cassidy has this, this combo true. Do you like side stick at low HP? And, like, it literally does 42 damage. Like, are we looking at the same game right now? Look at that. 42 damage. What other characters? Like, like Lord Vrax also has this combo true. Do you like side stick? And, like, those characters have 8 decks. And Isaiah has has 6 decks. But it's, like, kind of fair. Because Isaiah's side stick is literally trash. So just make it better, I think. Because, like, wait, did they remove this? Oh, they did remove that. Mm. I mean, that's kind of... Uh, okay. But uh, Thatch only has five decks, right? Yeah, Thatch has five decks. Isaiah has six decks. So buff Isaiah side sick. Or maybe make Isaiah seven decks side sick have that. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. All right, let's get one more game in. You guys know that feeling that you get when you're just like absolutely addicted to something and then you just love doing it like you think about it all the time and you just want to do it like while you're doing other stuff too when i feel like that about brawlhalla i'm literally like so happy that's that's kind of how i feel about brawl right now i'm not like peak addiction but it like feels good to play which is nice because there's sometimes where i'm sure everyone gets this where i literally just like resent playing this game and well it's actually not that often. It's usually when there's like a serious problem with like something that is affecting the ability to play the game properly. Like earlier this month when the servers were unplayable, I literally just was so tilted and upset perma when I was playing. But now the servers have like mellowed out a bit. Yeah, there's like certain people that when you play them, it's like unplayable. But like for the most part, it's fixed and it's just like so nice because like we all love this game. This game is great. It's actually fun. Obviously, I have like 5 million hours in it. But, like, actually playing it and competing in it is so fun. Definitely, like, the all time GOAT game. Delight Nair, this GC Unsick, probably. Yep, GG. Alright, anyway, so if you guys enjoyed.
Catch you on the flip. Peace out. Maybe ranked again tomorrow. Bye-bye.